Hey YouTube. Uh, hey everybody out there. I want to show you guys something. Oh, excuse me. Something's making my eyes water. I'll show you guys something really cool that my friend got me. I, I kind of knew these were out there and why they're so hard to get when supposedly they're plentiful as sand on the beach, uh, I'll never know. But I finally got this thing. I finally got one of these. It's the larger cousin, but this, can you guess what this is? Do you know what this is? This is the best thing you can have on a key ring or in your pocket. This, let me turn it around and see if you can figure it out. And here's the other side. This is the P-51 military can opener. This, this, along with its smaller cousin, the P-38, not the plane, but the P-38, um, they've been through World War II. They were, they carried them in Korea, Vietnam, and I don't know about now. But this is a really cool thing, man. Let me show you this. You, you basically you fold it open, and you put that little lip on the uh, put that little cutting edge on the inside, and then this little niche right here sits on the lip of the can. So you sit on the can like that. And you just and, and it cuts even though it doesn't have quite a knife edge it chops into that can man I can go through a can with this thing faster than my pocket knife this is an amazing and very simplistic tool in fact I'm probably if I can get somebody to hold the camera later I'll demonstrate this thing on a can of chili I got a can of chili in there and maybe if my dad or somebody comes by he's supposed to come by and drop off some stuff if he comes by, uh, I'll have him hold the camera and film while I open the can with this because this thing is is really cool. I don't have <coughs> I don't have civilian can openers. Anyway, I don't have regular can opener from the store. I can open a can faster with this than that little <coughs> can opener, man. This thing I can just zip 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 zip, and I'm done, man. So this is an awesome this is an awesome thing. The, the P-51, this this is the one that was used mainly by mess hall cooks for larger cans and things that required a bit more leverage. But the little P-38, you can open chili cans and stuff all day long with it. I, I'm going to see if I can find one. They say they're in plentiful supply, so I'm going to try to find <clears throat> try to find a P-38 if I can. But I love this P-51. This is a fine example... <clears throat> of how elegant and efficient something simple works and works well it does its job you know I wish more crap in this world was made as simple and easy to use and did its job as well as one of these did man I mean this and maybe a k-bar and a few other things and you're set man you got pretty much everything you need to get by in the world but uh this is a really, really awesome thing. I never thought I would be enthused over a can opener, but it's like I said, I tried this on a can of chili earlier when I made some chili for my friends. Actually, I opened two cans. One, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still coughing up fiberglass. One of these, uh, the first can I opened with this went pretty quick, and then I, I got the regular can opener down off the thing, and I started trying to open it, and it crapped out. It was just a piece of crap Chinese can opener, and it wouldn't even barely get the job done. I had to stop using the twist can opener, and I had to go to this to do the job. And this did the job ten times better than that piece of crap thing, that, you know, Walmart fall apart crap. So there will always, always be one of these, either on my key ring or in the house. I'm going to get a few of these. They're cheap. This thing, I just found it on the internet. I looked it up because I wanted to know the history behind this. And I found a lot of groups that are selling these. You can get this for a buck fifty, and it'll be the best damn can opener you ever own. It even outperforms an electric. I mean, there's people, in the time it takes me to say this sentence that I'm saying right now, there are people that can open a can with this that fast. You know, and I'm no I'm no expert with it, but I heard that 
Back in World War II, they used to have races with the little P-38s to see who could get their sea rats open fast enough, you know, and who could do it the fastest. So, this thing has a rich history. This thing has a rich history. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to find a surplus store or I'm going to get a few bucks. And I encourage everybody, keep this thing in production. Go out. Every household needs one of these. Every household needs it. This is better than the one on the Swiss Army knife. And it has a place here. You can put a dog tag chain through it. Or you can put it on your key ring. You know, keep one of these on you, man. You never know when you need one, you know. And it's just, it's cool. I, I'm thoroughly impressed with this. You know, it's, it's, it's like the little engine that could. That is an awesome thing. So if I could do it with one hand, I'd actually film and I would open a can to show you what you can do with this. But this this is a fast little guy. This, this just gets it done. So, and my friend got this for me. He was at a, a gun and knife show. He picked this up for me and he brought it down here and, and gave it to me. Again, this is... Thanks, Sticks. You don't know. You don't know. I like this thing. I really like this thing. So, uh, <laughs> oh man, that, that's cool. I'm fixed to go. Actually, I'm going to have chili to, <clears throat> you guys going to have to excuse my voice. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on there, but, uh, I'm going into the kitchen and tonight I'm having chili and I'm going to open it with this because this works better than all the rest of the crap I own. So, uh, thanks a bunch, Sticks. That's an awesome gift as well. And there's a few other things he brought down here that he picked up at the uh, Gun and Knife show, and I'm going to review them, uh, especially in the LED lighting department. I've got a few LED lights uh, or flashlights and other things I want to review for you guys. And I have the brand and the model number on all of them, and I'm going to look up where to get them because there's some pretty cool stuff you can get now for not a lot of money. And there's, you know... In the field of LED lighting, it's amazing how fast the technology is jumping ahead. So probably in the next two videos, I'm going to review a couple of really good LED lights that don't cost a small fortune. So, catch me then, and I'll see you all then. Take care. It looks like there's going to be a lot of uploads tonight.